something we've been asking Mojang for a while now has been why can't they add all three mod vote choices that are added in the Minecraft mod vote each year to the game eventually, if not right away when the mod vote ends. And today we got the answer to that. This answer came not just from a random member of the community, though it came from a high up developer at Mojang who's actually responsible for the Warden's creation and also for the Ether mod. So without further ado, let's get right into the news. So the way this actually began was on Twitter, where King B Dogs tweeted back at the Minecraft Twitter account that I tweeted out by saying, I voted for the blank because blank, hashtag Minecraft Live. He responded back to that tweet by saying this, I voted for the sniffer because having a whole mob that their entire purpose is to sniff things is a good Minecraft meme. Now, obviously it was just a joking kind of tweet, but this actually did warrant a lot of responses from people, of course. And one of the responses was from someone on Twitter called Mumbling Games. I vote for Mojang to just get rid of the damn mob votes and just add all the announced mobs into the game why is it got to be just one of the three why not all three question mark that'd be nice now naturally of course a lot of people responded back to that tweet with some uh, fair criticism and some fair responses and people also agreed as well which was quite fair i think it would be awesome to see all three different mobs that are added each year in minecraft mob votes added to the game eventually but there was a lot of responses to the tweet there was actually so many responses that king b dogs himself actually responded back to the individual by saying this here's the reality of minecraft game development mobs take a huge amount of time to develop and all of the mob vote candidates are concepts, not finished production code. Mobs easily take the most development time out of every feature type. He then followed up that tweet with obviously some more subtweets, which I'm going to read out in order right now. Just the bugs and priority issues that arise out of AI alone add months of work. It's not feasible for us to just add all three. Or rather, it might be possible, but there wouldn't be much time for anything else in the update, which I don't think anyone in the community would want. Now, naturally, with these tweets, there was a lot of back and forth between people that were agreeing with them and saying, yeah, this obviously would take so long. This must take a while. This is understandable. And then there was some people as well on the other side of the table that were saying that that is just not true. These would be easily added. They're not even that difficult to add to the game. All that kind of jazz. There was even some other developers from Mojang that were actually adding to the tweet itself and adding some jokes and stuff like that or memeing with it. Um, adding things like, you know, does this mean that you'll be adding the Krilliger, my hybrid whale villager NPC that drops Balin? I even did a drawing, so how many hours could this take to implement? It was just the developers kind of just memeing on the fact that many people don't really fully understand game development and they're just giving their two cents on something that they've never actually done before. However, there were some people that have actually developed things for games before and whatnot that were responding to these tweets. And one of these people was actually a content creator called Foxy No Tail. Responding to King B Dogs, he said, Once you've got the concepts and designs, creating a new mob is quick, a couple of days for a single developer. That's assuming you don't need new AI behaviors, which for this year's mobs, I don't think you do. I could make all of this year's mobs with add ons. King B Dogs responding back to that tweet by saying, Add ons aren't played by millions of players who are very happy to point out the hundreds of problems with AI. You'd be amazed how many bugs, whether you think they're important or not are important to our wide demographic of players also still needs to be added in java he then followed that tweet by saying trust me i've been in your position when i did modding i could have easily made all three mobs in java through modding it's just not the same there's so much more that is done behind the scenes you don't see sometimes things can be done but need to be refactored for long term eventually foxy no tail did respond back because people were saying you know that they were backing up foxy and that obviously you know mojang are wrong here obviously king b dogs is wrong this shouldn't take as long as it does take these would be easy to implement etc and all that kind of jazz and obviously there's people as well backing up king b dogs and uh, foxy responded back by saying this the ai is what the vanilla mobs use too so if they're complaining about the ai and add-ons perhaps they're complaining about the barrock engine in general i realize it's not as simple as that and i know nothing about java development lol you guys do an amazing job now again going through the tweets there was just a whole load of people that were given their two cents on the situation again there was people that have even never developed games that were given their two cents and those people that have developed games that were given their two cents it was a really 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 odd thing to read through because it was just a war zone some of the other responses for example were ones like this which was one from this person called crystals 148 that said what about modder argument which not a lot of people really fully understood right off the bat with that kind of tweet uh, king me dogs they respond by by saying modder argument question mark not sure what you mean but if that's that modders can add or modders can add it quickly again they don't need to develop it in both code bases nor does it need to be up to the high quality standard there was actually a lot of people using the entire modder argument which at first i didn't really kind of fully understand this person here for example uh, said sorry you work for a billionaire company i see no excuse for the lack of content and yes i'm using the modders argument they do it quickly they do it right and they do it in both versions 
you're understaffed and we can all see that. There was also a lot of people that were making a lot of jokes. Uh, there was this one right here, which was quite good, I can't lie, which was, because uh, 600 employees definitely can't add three mobs to the game in six months. And as you can see, they got a, a, a rather beautiful little mob, uh, or mob, excuse me, um, my God, meme that I'm probably gonna end up sharing in my community tab when it is, uh, it, it's pretty good, I can't lie. So yeah, the overall conclusion on the entire subject is that Mojang will not add all three mobs right away, of course. They will probably end up adding these mobs later on down the line. Like I'm pretty sure they've said before in the past, someone can correct me if I'm wrong there, but at the moment it's just not viable or feasible apparently for them to add all three mobs at once or even just right away. I have been on the side personally of the entire modders argument which is that you know modders can make these assets and add them to the game with animations and stuff like that, really smart looking textures and really little to no issues whatsoever in a very 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 small fraction of time um, as opposed to Mojang who are the lead developers of the game. However like King B Dogs just said of course there is a lot more that goes into obviously adding these assets to the game. There's a really high quality level of detail that they've got to put into each and every single mob and um, that is added to the game especially of course and they've obviously got to make sure the ai isn't jittery or buggy and stuff like that and that everything works accordingly you know i'm no game developer i don't know if anybody here watching this video really is but again i can't lie it is just slightly disappointing though because it is one of those things that i would love to see added to the game i'd love to see all three mobs each year for the mob will get added but then again maybe later on down the line we'll get to see them in the future who knows but yeah everybody i just thought i'd share that news with you i hope you all went to enjoy today's video if you guys did please be sure to drop a like and share with your friends and family and subscribe to the catman joe channel to help us reach our goal of 60,000 subscribers which we're on the brink of hitting right now and to stay up to date with all the latest minecraft news information and leaks other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you guys hopefully in the next have a fantastic day and yeah everybody peace out